cloud. Okay, welcome everyone to the March 29th iteration of the MicroProfile live hangout. A link, is this true? Can someone paste a link to the chat in, uh, a link to the notes in the chat, uh, the minutes? That would be awesome. Please click on the link and add yourself as a meeting participant. Um, organization name is optional. And it is everyone's shared responsibility to take notes. Okay, I am going to share the screen here. And Google Chrome, I think this is it. Share, let me make the a little bit uh, bigger. Okay, um, I put down a few notes ahead of time. Um, yeah around micro profile six. I didn't mean to steal that really these are, I, I think things that Emily are, uh, is leading, but I put down my name just cause I'm the one that entered um, the item right down, um, down here, but we'll get to those in just a second. Uh, please note that I posted a link to the steering committee meeting minutes. Um, please review and vote. Um, that is a link to um, the um, archived meeting minute. Uh, sorry, um, the archived mailing list. Okay. Oh, um, John, yes. I want to yes. say also the GraphQL to the old release is also on ballot. So please vote uh, on that as well. We only got uh, like a few vote. Okay. I thought we had. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll put that here. Yeah, um, yeah. Emily, I'm going to put your name here. Uh, graph QL 2.0 vote thread, vote in progress. Yeah, it will, it will end uh, next week. So please uh, vote ASAP. Can you pr provide a link? Yeah, to the thread? I will. Okay. And also, that would be awesome. Emily, and also the dates. I think it's April 5th, but we always need to add the dates on the thread. Um, just a reminder. Okay. I can't remember them. Okay, it's only been one week uh, since, or two weeks since the steering committee meeting. So I'm not expecting a whole lot of progress, but this is actually a, a good start. Okay, uh, anything else as it relates to the program plan um, progress? Three, two. Um, do we want to uh, summarize what we decided on the steering committee call about using, using this call um, a few minutes to talk about the program plan as a whole and anyone can bring you know, issues with lack of progress on things like this to this call moving forward. Yeah, so um, I, I think it was more geared toward, if I recall correctly, toward the end of the call um, for bringing forward issues as it relates to progress around the program plan. Because sometimes we have, we have blockers, right? Mm -hmm. We have dependencies and this would be a good call for us to bring that up. Um, Right now, it's it's basically at the top of the call, uh, top of the meeting minutes. Uh, yes. I think we agreed to put it uh, to reserve some time, kind of afterwards. Um, I wanna, and I know we didn't decide, but I want to caution that program plan for the year is extremely important. In my view, it should be at the top, and it should be super. We should be ruthless with it. If we leave it at the end as miscellaneous, we will we might not get to it because sometimes there are complicated topics. So I would recommend we try for April. Um, to see how it goes on the top, and then we move it if it's becoming too overbolst. Well, yeah, that's fine for me. I, I don't want to belabor this point a whole lot, but uh, go ahead, David. Yeah, I was just saying, I would put releases over above everything, personally. That's like yeah, the actual delivery. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I need to make a release is uh, like a very important. Okay, we will change the, the, the template, um, but where do we keep the pro program plan progress? I'll be honest, it, 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 if we just want to do the F releases, that's fine with me. You know, what, what, what's going to be interesting is I, I think that <laughs> covering, covering the program, program plan progress, we're going to be covering items that are going to be in the other topics, right? So um like spec process technical goals etc cetera, etc cetera. but um let's try it we could, we could just move it um 
below releases like again i, I don't really want to belabor this point um and we can decide you know after april or whatever after a couple of weeks if, if we think this is a good order plus one i changed the template at the end as it okay. is of Okay. Things to test. Okay. Um, I although these have, I'm going to switch these to your name, Emily, if you don't mind. I again, I just thought these were good things to cover um, since you were doing such a good job um, as it relates to the release source version discussion in um, the Google Group and the release content options doc. So would you be okay kind of talking yeah. about this, Emily? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, in the last couple of the technical course, we like uh, discussed the content of microplastics. And we pretty much finalized we, uh, what kind of stack update will be in six. Uh, however, uh, like uh, that would be including JWT open API. Uh, and metrics, metrics also had a, like a, eventually the, the group made a decision. And also we are working on the telemetry uh, and once we release the telemetry and then we, we can figure out how, 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 what to do with um, open tracing. So that's a kind of less uh, kind of the conversation there. So last week we spent a lot of time to talk about like a source source level, Java level for this uh, umbrella, like a uh, release is um, like um, on the call. Uh, I mean, we discussed the kind of the whether to move uh, like a, a compilation uh, Java version from uh, Java eight to, to 11, 11. So which has uh, two options: option one and option two. Option one is kind of we move all the updated components back from uh, eight to 11. Uh, option two is that we force all of the components back um, kind of to move uh, from eight to 11. And then I put uh, um, kind of the, because not many people are on the call. So I open another thread, uh, I mean, ask for uh, more comments and etc. That's come up with option three. <laughs> so, which is um, people, uh, John, can you still go back to that one? Uh, so, let's go down. So, option three is so basically is um, there's uh, some feedback, basically, is uh, not to update at all the source level in six, but we move all of the stack. Uh, to Java 11 when we align with Jakarta E10 core profile, because core profile will be like uh, at uh, uh, like a Java 11. So there they will bump the, the kind of the minimum Java version from 8 to 11. So this can all pretty much consistent and also align with Jakarta E10. Uh, so it's uh, the only so which means uh, kind of the, with this approach, we don't need to uh, like uh, either create an inconsistent message or force all the spec to do another major version bump. So yeah, this is kind of the- Two sorry. major version bumps uh, in micro profile within one year. Yeah, it would actually be three. Yeah, if we release uh, in, December of 2022, seven, there would be three major releases in one year. Where is it? Where oh. is it? The, the December okay. was December was uh, the 5 -0. No, no, December well, that was last year, 2021. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. December 21 to December 2022. If, if it says pot, it says on the screen, possibly seven late 2022, that's this year. Yeah, so December 2021 to December 2022 is three major versions in one year, one 12 month. Mean one 12 month. Yeah. Yep. So I think as the earliest we could do is late 2022 or maybe. Yeah. 
2023. My, my gut reaction is even if it's like March of 2023, it feels like too many major versions too quickly. I think, I mean, that's just my gut feeling personally. But. Yeah, that's depend on whether like uh, we uh, pay a lot of attention to this major version um, bump or not. Yeah, but uh, these are um, all breaking changes uh, for the users reflecting in the major release and uh, we should not, yeah, uh, do too much spread it about, about uh, more than one release. If we can combine that in one major release with one time uh, breaking changes we need to uh, take care of that would be much better and then have minor releases which could be easily upgraded by the users and I also think, by the implementations of course yeah I, I, so i, I, I have, have a couple of things here go ahead um for, first the program plan does say, say three releases right so if, if we think about dropping release to re, you know to reduce the number of releases major releases in a year or or so on, um, then we would have to probably vote to change the program plan, right? Yeah. Um, been proposed, but yeah. John, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Me, I think hold, sorry to interrupt, interrupt here, but I don't think Jan mentioned not having the three releases. I think what he and David are saying is have minor releases and then a big one to it, iterate all the breaking changes one, at least once a year, only one, major release that will yeah, break changes. He, he got the, it, so let him finish. Right, yep. So so the second thing is that um, typically the releases are February, June, and October, right? And I, I noticed that this says July, so we kind of pushed it out a month. Um, if we decide that we can't make um, core profile, right? Um, then my guess, then my assumption is that we should probably pull this back to June. I can't remember why we moved this out to July, or if it was just an inadvertent change. But typically, June and October. I I can't remember why we play for June and July. Um, right. Yeah, it is yeah, okay if we want to stay with the with the June, uh, like a release. So well, it's, it's, have... it's only okay if if we do, if it, depending on, on core profile alignment. I actually do we have. There was a uh, um, uh, PR uh, regarding a first release Thank candidate you. of core profile recently. I think last week it was on the agenda. I missed the call because of the time zone problem, but. Um, um, uh, on the meeting minutes of the Jakarta E call, uh, the platform call, I saw an entry uh, by Eva that he uh, created a uh, release candidate for the core profile. And I discussed that on Javaland with him uh, one week before. Uh, so we can do the dependency analysis uh, on the core profile to help uh, making progress on the release of uh, Jakarta E 10. So, so John, sorry. Go ahead, okay. Emily. Go ahead. I don't. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I let you finish. No, I'm. I'm nearly finished. So, it's fine. Okay. Go so ahead. I just I want to say, uh, John, you, if you scroll to the top of that top of this top, so basically is uh, like uh, the. The thing is because of timing and et cetera, because the um, Jakarta E10 core profile will be released in 2Q is uh, either in, uh, like uh, end of May, I think it uh, won't be, uh, is very possibly it will be in June. The other thing is kind of the which uh, compatible implementations support that. And then if we say, okay, micro profile six will be like we release in June, and uh, which implementation we are going to use to release it. You need to really, uh, I mean, implement both Jakarta E10 core profile plus all the updated uh, micro profile. I think we need to 
is a, is a, is a not okay. We just say okay, release the six in June. Well, we just put on hold, <laughs> and then there's no compatible implementation to certify things. So. Yeah, but uh, the core profile is just a subset of the web profile um, or the platform uh, itself. So um, that is a little bit some something like a cosmetic because it uh, combines only uh, the uh, relevant uh, Jakarta E specs for micro profile. So. Um, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we could uh, and should um, put microprofile 6.0 on top of the, that core profile. Uh, I and if there is a delay, I... um, um, then we should think about uh, uh, delaying uh, the microprofile release too. But I've, I'm pretty sure we should or could uh, make that. I think yeah. before we make that decision, we need to work out which runtime volunteer to do that. So which runtime prepare to step forward to implement uh, uh, E 10 core profile in June uh, and plus uh, the micro profile update is an input. So just high level question, um, you know, what is the breaking change we're making in six that merits that means it can't be a 5.1 um, the drop of um, uh, tracing from the platform um, and uh, introduction of um, uh, telemetry right introducing and specifications few, isn't a yeah, and, compatible change but and there are um, um, major releases of at least one additional spec, right, Emily? Yeah, metrics, uh, metrics will have. Metrics, of course, mm -hmm. yes. Right, so aside from the major releases, the only backwards compat impact incompatible change we're making is dropping a specification. So yeah. if, uh, David, if uh, like, um, I think a metrics uh, change will, will work, uh, yeah, we'll need to uh, have a major release. And the other thing is uh, for telemetry, so that once we add a telemetry, we have to remove open tracing. So that would be a um, kind of breaking change. Yeah, and then like, you know, like, is that something that people, you know, uh, well, oh, I see Edward's got his hand open. Just from a, like a implementation perspective, you know, like I don't know that a lot of us are looking to make um, big changes on our, Jakarta EE 9.1 or, you know, any nine based implementations, most likely, uh, most likely we would skip six and just wait till the next version. Uh, so that we had something that lined up with 10, you know, just speaking in practical terms, right? So like, you know, right now our first job, our first Jakarta based uh, distribution is largely so people can on ramp from what they were using uh, with the least amount of issues of potential, you know, potential issues for upgrades. So, like the Jakarta EE 9 1 and 9 series based releases are explicitly focused on not disrupting people. And so, uh, if the only, if the, granted, there's cool new specs being added in six, but if we're taking away things, it it conflicts with kind of the goal of that branch, right? Uh, and not to mention that we're talking, you know, so close to each other, uh, the gap between five and seven is potentially only one year. So ultimately, it would be like six never existed, and we would just skip it go to seven. That's probably what would happen. Okay, yeah, Edwin. If we, um, Sorry, um, Edwin. Oh, Edwin's got his so. hand up for a while. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, <clears throat> David, you uh, addressed the same concern as I had. I was thinking what would happen again if we have products implementing both Jakarta and MicroProfile, and MicroProfile doesn't align shortly after Jakarta E10 has been adopted in these projects. 
uh, like like you said, are we going to skip certain microprofile versions, or do implementers need to do something special to uh, bridge the gap? So talking about when or <clears throat> how many breaking stuff we should put in one uh, release. Uh, if the cart is going to release in the future more often, then we have more often this discussion. So maybe just thinking out of the box, we should uh, maybe, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, treat the Jakarta dependency uh, alignment releases differently. Maybe that's something we can discuss or not, but uh, that's what my thoughts are, at least. Hey, Roberto. Hey, Roberto. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so sorry, I'm probably going to shift the conversation a little bit because I want to give like an important detail that may <laughs> steer things uh, in an unpredictable way is about uh, a security issue that I'm looking um, in some, some, well, it was reported in Quarkus and then I came like unraveling <laughs> everything and then I came to the conclusion that we are also suffering over that. So the problem is, if you're not aware, maybe you're aware that there is like a, a recent CVE on Maven uh, that was fixed on 3.8.1. And um, some companies are actually blocking a Maven, re Maven resolution of artifacts that are referencing Maven before that version. And the problematic artifacts that we are referencing, and that's worse the ones that we have on Quarkus, is either killing and shrink wrap. So we may have to re-release all microprofile APIs and DCKs to get rid of the Maven version or all the old Maven version that's referencing old Maven artifacts that has a CD in it because of the block that some, some, some companies are putting on the, on, the, on the proxy resolution. Now, I'm not exactly sure, I mean, I'm not exactly sure if this should be viewed as a service release or a breaking release because it, this effectively means that you're changing the TCK because you're up there in the, the TCK dependencies, right? Uh, so uh, I'm not completely sure how we should proceed this way. What, 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 but, but the problem, this, this is an effective problem. This may start happening more often. And I think we need to really, we need to, to, to fix it. I think that's a different topic. It, it is not a different topic because I mean, it is all related with, the, with, with releases, right? Sure. Um, I guess I would start it off from the perspective that uh, we would do that as a service release if we needed to do that. Um, well, not not exactly. I mean, if you're changing because you're changing TCK dependencies, doesn't this mean that the TCK that you use to certify is not exactly the same with the one with the service release, and that should be considered as a as a as a breaking change? Or, when you do or, a or service release, not. Yeah. Well, when I'm not sure. Do, just, just asking, right? When, when you do a service release, I mean, like it is because you're typically changing or fixing something. Um, like adding tests would be a no-no typically. That's you know, I mean, we we had, we do have the ability to make our own choices in that regard. Uh, but typically, adding tests are, are no-no. But if you're fixing like security issue, that's very much in the line of of a service release, and it would mean that. If someone wanted to file compatibility, we would accept the the previous TCK and the service released TCK. You know what I mean? So like if if we had five zero and five zero one uh, TCKs and someone filed a compatibility com claim, we would we should be willing to accept either because they're more or less equivalent minus uh, you know security patching. Very well. Any anyway, even if we don't, even if that's not considered a breaking release, we still require to release all the specs, even with service releases. Right. In the next version. Well, however, for service releases, that's pretty 
quickly. Does a you don't need to go through ballot and that can be done very yeah. quickly. And I would say that if there is a security vulnerability, we would not want to go through the long balloting process. We would want to get that fixed quicker rather than uh, you know delaying it. But then only uh, the security related changes uh, could Correct. be done. Only the security related changes. Is this a topic that we could follow up on then in the technical call? Yeah. Yes. And that's all over okay. the community forum. Let's do some writing on that one as well. Okay. So as it relates then, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out here how, how to handle this, this release topic. Because um, we need to, to come to a conclusion um, about how we want to do it. We have, you know, a half hour left and some other topics probably to, to cover. I think it's um, another topic besides uh, 6.0 um, micro profile service release because of Maven security issue. Yeah. I think we could uh, like for the service uh, release can follow up on the mailing list and just uh, get done with. Plus so one. Had to, yeah, raise the issue and then just uh, it won't take long to get all the TCP updated, all the, the dependency updated. Yeah, and you still have your hand up. Is that intentional? Uh, it's, um, I would put that uh, uh, beside the microprofile.6. I can do that like this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's a good point. Okay, so, so go ahead, Emily. Sorry, you go ahead. I think we are trying to see the same thing probably. Yeah, yeah, you know, how to resolve the release um, topic. It, it might be that we're going to have to continue discussing in the group. I just think it might may take a while to have that conversation that way. So I would like for us to figure out how to resolve this here, in, in either or, or both here and in the technical call. Because I just think right. it's going to take too long yeah. to resolve, given you know June, July. Yeah, I think uh, if we could uh, resolve at least uh, reach a uh, sort of some, uh, I mean, consensus here, that would be great. By the way, for next week, a technical call, I know both Roberto and I will be in them next week. Okay. Then we should uh, try to maybe use the lists instead for a while, or. I just but, had a curious. Uh, I mean, next week's technical call is going to be canceled since the folks that typically lead the call are not going to be attending. We're not on that level next, next week. It's just. In oh, two weeks. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> week after. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're completely right. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Well, I that you next week. Them next week. Yeah. Okay. So we are having the call next week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just a quick question. Like, um, you know, I know I've said that we would probably skip six, but if there are people who actually are wanting six for their products, I wouldn't stand in the way of it. Um, is that the case? Is there somebody who, are there people who want to have a six out soon with these features? So what do you think mean, David? You mean that basically we don't do release uh, like uh, in the in the June release? What well, we could mean? do a point yes. release. We don't. We don't have to do the breaking change. It wouldn't have to be yeah, a major five dot one. It could be five one. But a five dot one is pretty much not much yet, right? That's just like the open open API or JWT. Not much. Not worth. Uh, not much yet. In that case, uh, what's the point to release it? Well, yeah, we released less. 
So I kind of, I think uh, kind of that's pretty much a demonstrator. We are not doing much. So I think is uh, would be very important to maintain the release uh, release chain. I mean, in our plan, we say three releases, and then it's kind of yeah we do at most two, and one of them I don't know what will happen in in October. One of them not doing much. Uh, I don't sure. know. We typically would have, have yeah we typically would have two releases that were kind of incremental. So we could, you could say that they don't do much. Um, and then we would have one big one. So we just had a big one in December. Um, yeah, you know. I would suggest, um, and I expected that basically, um, and was wondering, uh, I thought MicroProfile 6.0, the major release uh, of MicroProfile, the next major release, should step on Jakarta EE 10 and not 9.1. That makes no sense to me. And if that means we have to delay that release and uh, release the MicroProfile 6.0 in October, that's fine. But um, yeah, as David said, making two uh, major releases in one year, uh, um, that makes no sense. Yeah, And the people would like to um use the new jakarta e10 uh, specifications and um in combination with a, a micro profile release and then the discussion about the uh, uh, java se version uh is uh obsolete because um, then we can stay for sure on uh, 11 and we should do that yeah i'll just speak uh, just in terms of er erasing numbers we're unlikely to drop specs uh, in anything that's based on Jakarta E9. So we wouldn't drop specs until Jakarta E10. So whatever those are called, doesn't matter, but we wouldn't drop any specifications on our Jakarta E9 because that release branch is deliberately there just as an on-ramp to the namespace. Now, yeah. now specs can release at their own pace, right? And the platform Absolutely. is picks whichever versions of the releases is appropriate for the for that platform release right so for example with metrics um you know if if, if there were going to be an update that update could happen um before or between the next release let's say a 5.1 into six right it's just that the platform would continue to use the old version or the current version i should say if if uh, if we just uh, say that leaves just to have uh, open API GWT, I would uh, kind of predict there won't be have any release in June. Sorry, which one's GWT and open API? Open API. So I, I, they are not. I I I don't think uh, it's a worth the effort even to to do the June release. So in this case, we're back to one release. Uh, in 2022. What are the changes in Open API and JWT that they're so not you, worth I releasing? Think, yeah, uh, I I don't have the like a full list, so okay. we are still working on that. Also, depending on which implementation gear up for to trying to support that as another. Uh, another thing, if uh, if uh, we think if uh, I think is not much value to support it, I would I wouldn't uh, just uh, just uh, go ahead to do it. We also have uh, some uh, naming inconsistencies uh, and some uh, one error uh, in the spec document regarding the namespace that is used. Um, that would be part of a major release too. Um, that came late uh, by me uh, and too late for uh, 5.0. What remember. name is this? What name is this change we are referring to? One spec document, uh, the Java X namespace uh, is referenced as far as I remember. And there were a few issues uh, we discovered. Um, I listed them, um, 
and we want to create issues for each of them. And there were some uh, spec naming inconsistencies in the uh, platform uh, spec document regarding the included specs and the naming of that specs. Yeah, go ahead to raise the question. I think the issue and then for the spec to work work on. Uh, he fixes for the platform at least. Yeah, I think I when you addressed, uh, I don't know all of them or some of them. Yeah, I I, I process all Jen's comments for the platform, but I think there is some. Ref referenced issues in the separate specification projects, but we should look it up. I, I do have a question about about these uh, these model, or I think it's option one number one, where we allow some spec support Java eight and another Java eleven. At at the platform spec, we specifically say that implementations need to uh, certify on Java 8 or higher, right? So that gives freedom uh, for implementations to choose which JDK they're gonna certify with. Now, if there are implementations that are, sorry, if there are APIs that move to 11, then you need to move that to 11 as well because i mean yes 8 will work on 11 but 11 will not work on 8 so once there is a spec that wants to use 11 apis then the platform requirement will also have to move to 11. correct isn't yes. i mean it wouldn't be like super confusing that then you'll have apis that are still on 8 in that in that sense it's not really confusing it's just it won't work and when you put them all together, as you say. But eight APIs compiled to target eight run just fine on 11. I, I, that, that was not what I said. I just say, I mean, I think I think it will be confusing to just say the platform level set like 11 as a, as a, as a minimum version to run and certify, but APIs are still on eight. Even I don't if think it's still confusing. Run. No, I think that's fine because people might use an API outside of the context of a platform. Right. Yeah, but in the yeah. platform, we define um, that. And there's another issue. You cannot use the release property in Maven. Then you have to define source and tar target separately. And that's a really a pain uh, well, in using that's a, that. That's a pain for our build. It's not a pain for our customers. They're free to use whatever version of Java they want. I'm a customer, and I got really angry about that because I never can use uh, consistently the release um, uh, your property. customer i have to switch back to uh, target and source properties and that's really outdated but that's not true if you're building an application that wants to target 11 just use release the fact that some of the inputs to the compiler are target 8 is irrelevant all right um exactly. i'm going to kind of do a, a little bit of a time out here just because i, I want to see if there's other topics that we want to have covered i, I think we're going to have to continue this on the technical call um, unless there's no other topics from the agenda that we normally cover all right have you, um we've already spent a lot of time on this uh and it, it's an important topic which is why we did spend that much time on it so um so i'm going to kind of pause here and and see if we can go down to anything on the specification process any updates uh no uh, uh, oh the tck process yes um i have created a wiki on the micro profile um the io uh micro profile wiki just documented uh all the like a uh, certification steps so Okay. Uh, anything else? Um, okay, technical goals. So one thing is the kind of the GraphQL tool. So that's a standalone. That kind of will be the Jakarta E 9.1 alignment. The other thing is the reactive messaging, reactive stream operators, they all staged out. I think it's uh, Daniel from uh, Oracle currently is uh, checking out uh, the release candidate. 
I think we, we will need to, he did another PR on the reactive messaging. So we need to do another stage out another RC so that he can run, uh, can like uh, pass all the TCKs so we can go from there. Uh, so other things, uh, I think we are discussing all the, this release. And, Actually, um, hold on, sorry. I, I'm, I'm trying to take notes and my keyboard's all messed up here. It's just, um, I wanna make sure I, I capture these. So, so you said graph, right, GraphQL, uh, um, was it Jakarta 9.1? Yeah, 2.0, GraphQL 2.0. Right. Alliance with the Jakarta right. 9.1. In what sense? Just the namespace, or yeah, yeah, namespace. Just the namespace. Just the namespace. Okay. Uh, reactive messaging needs another. Yeah, another release candidate. <laughs> for. For the Jakarta E, uh, Jakarta namespace uh, uh, alignment as well. Same thing. So that's our okay. technique go for that. And then metrics, uh, a group made, uh, eventually made the decision what to do with micro metrics. So they are working on the implementation. So it's- uh, uh, You want to capture the decision being? Uh, yeah, the decision, I, I can add the, the link to their doc. Uh, uh, basically the option three. So they came to the um, technical call last week to present their decision. Uh, so the others uh, for the new stacks, didn't, uh, I think uh, was, um, didn't see any uh, changes. However, for the um, uh, telemetry, micro profile telemetry, so it's uh, uh, we kind of back to on track and trying to uh, move some files from the sandbox to the repo micro profile telemetry um, and trying to make a better progress in the next few days. We also discussed the standalone spec. I think uh, probably the conclusion is it will still stay standalone. Uh, for the um, context of propagation, probably we need to revisit um, the context of propagation again when we do the Jakarta EE. After we have done Jakarta EE 10, a core profile alignment, because a lot of the um, functionality being moved to Jakarta and currency and such, you will see. Um, okay, so in, in the interest of time, I'm going to ask that you kind of update the notes. Yeah, I think that that's pretty much all. Okay, yeah, if you could just add. Um, okay. Uh, I, I have a few things here for you that I've, okay. I've highlighted. Just just finish off those notes. Okay. Okay, community outreach. Um, I added Edwin here because he nicely wrote. Edwin, you are here. You wrote the microprofile working group committee wrapped wiki that I will today add to the onboarding membership. Do you want to go to that? And, and you know, um, I think you shared it to the general group, but it was hidden within an old um, staff. It was hidden in old staff, you say? Yeah, in, in an old uh, thread from nominations of a student committee of committed committee rep, and it's not in a single standalone this is a new wiki for committed rep, how to do things, what to expect. So maybe you wanna present the document for like a two minutes and say, this is, you know, what you have written based on your, you know, your 2021 um, um, actions, which is great, a great document. Yeah, um, put it on the screen if you would like, I can go through it. Here we go. Um, actually, I don't know if we're, if we're gonna have time to actually go through it today. Um, but I, yeah, I, I did actually go through it, and I, I thought it was a, um, it was a pretty good um, write up. And, and basically, it's like, like, listen, you know, there's lots of things that you can do, right? Mm -hmm. And if, you know, your your activity level, um, you, you know, you have lots of choices in terms of where you want to focus. 
right? And, and one of the things that I thought was pretty interesting was, you know, just being able to, um, or, or trying to represent the community and determine how to represent the community, right? How, how to gather feedback from the community to vote. So um, I, I thought that was um, pretty interesting, but everyone um, go, go take a look at it. Um, there is one thing I, uh, <laughs> that came up during, and I'm gonna move on to the next bullet here. Um, Sorry, I added it and I didn't add you, John, but I know it's your topic. No, no, that's cool. Um, during the technical call, um, the discussion was brought up on, uh, you know, how do we get more accurate polls on major decisions, right? So, you know, we use Twitter polls a lot of times, right? We have discussions in the, in the group and just a few people respond. So we basically, I, I think I added this to the marketing call, but due to my Wi-Fi issues. We talked about it. The, we uh, talked okay, about yeah. it. So it's good. Do you want to summarize that briefly then? Um, you know what, Jan, do you want to summarize this? Because Emily and, and Jan um, updated. I had no idea what it was about. I said, John is not here, Skip. And the two of them owned it. And then we went in it and um, um, figured out what to do next. Emily, Jan, who wants to go on this one? Yeah, and just a brief summary, please. We don't need to go into a lot of details. Very, very short. Yeah, so basically, uh, we'll create a, a issue on the marketing poll, uh, a marketing GitHub repo, and then send a, a note to, to the marketing uh, Google group, uh, and also plus the micro cloud Google group for people to comment. So, and then we can agree on the kind of the, the process and session. That's all. Yeah, one interesting point was um, that we uh, conclude on um, that it depends on the question that is made uh, and uh, which audience is addressed. Uh, the tool may uh, vary. Um, so uh, we can uh, use um, GitHub itself. Uh, we could use the mailing list. Um, we can uh, use other tooling uh, if we want to have broader Survey attraction. Monkey. Survey Monkey, yes. And uh, um, Amelia, you want to write uh, a wiki page um, for the tooling, right? We have a tracker that says how to use and what to expect when oh, writing but tooling. But this is different because this says before a pool goes out, it needs to be reviewed and gather inf enough information from the community so the right question is phrased. Like Erin said in right. Twitter, was super nice. She said the question write up is wrong. It should, you know, it, it just it's just something about it. So then we, we need to just do so a little bit more, be more patient with any pooling, the review, and then send it off through anything we want. We just skip one step. Right. Just, and then we need, you know, like I will share here um, after the call at uh, the, the trackers that Edwin was one of the reviewers, but that has nothing to do with how to do it and the level of be careful with when sending a poll, you know, what are the questions, who reviewed them, are they okay, or, or was it only one microprofiler? Yeah, okay. Quick, and, and again, I don't want to dig, dig too deep into this. Yeah. Um, quick, just quickly. based on time. Yeah. Keep it uh, uh, briefly. Yeah. So these rules are only applying when we're using the micro profile handle, right? If people do use their own Twitter accounts, they can say whatever they want. Correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we have to think of that. Well, I, again, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously be considerate, but, you know, just, uh, just, you know, you know. To... Yeah, they are all an opinion, isn't it? So. Well, that, that's fine. No. Okay. The, the the problem was there was like a, and i mean it's nothing against emily but i mean we had a personal twitter poll being referenced in a, in a micro profile decision even if you just say that that micro prof that decision was not based on that twitter poll it, it shouldn't be yeah referenced. well that that that, we that is wrong do. okay it that's still be being referenced on, on on a document wrote by micro profile and it's linked to a decision made by a micro profile. That is wrong. Yeah, and Roberto that, thinks he's pulling it out. That correct. is wrong. We need to delete well, it. Um, you know, I, I, I think this is all a lesson learned, right? 
because we didn't have a process, someone stepped up and, and tried to do something. Right. Right. And, fine. and I, I think what we're saying is for major decisions, we need to have more formal, uh, a more yeah. formal approach to it. So yeah. right. let's um, move on to the next bu yeah. bullet. Before we move, we do need to delete. I appreciate the, the initiative the regardless, the just, to, yeah. just to explicitly say, I appreciate the initi initiative regardless. And uh, yeah. absolutely. But we need to fix it. We need to delete the mention of the poll with Emily and, and th on that document. It cannot be personal um, kind of thing. And that means we have learned the lesson, we have corrected it, and we will do better. If we leave the poll as it is referencing Emily's a tweet, then that is wrong because we are cementing something. And, um, yeah, that would I, be think we've, I think we've all under established it. Yep. Uh, and we should just move on. And uh, but still thank everybody for being proactive and you know, we just learn and evolve and it's okay. Okay, on the budget front, um, Amelia is posing the question here. Um, uh, basically, what's the budget status? I'm assuming the budget status is what the EMO produced for the steering committee call, right? But, um, they, they, they said that we'll adjust it based on what we requested. And they said that we wouldn't need a steering committee vote, but they will deliver the budget. And it has been two weeks. Um, I wonder if you could ask them, you could use the working group forum and say an status on the update. Because on the marketing side, we have things to do and we require the budget. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. I, I thought the assumption is was what they sent us, the update. No, that says just it will be adjusted. Was the final. Mm -hmm. okay. It will be, we request that to be adjusted oh. based on um, Edwin's latest threat, and then Paul said they will work on it and submit a new one with the revised uh, numbers. Okay. We even apologize for sending the staff um, one day before because yeah. of work. So we're expecting the new budget, and we need it um, hopefully uh, April, so that we can start expenditures. John. We've got two minutes, so I'll ask, um, does anyone have a priority topic that they need to get discussed? What they feel is a priority topic. Okay, um, maybe uh, beyond uh, the polling, is there anything in, in marketing we want to discuss or update everyone on? Um, Emily, can you update us, please, on the MP5 release paid announcements? Because you have been involved, and I believe John and Edwin were pulled into this, and we only learned about it yesterday. And thanks so much for um, the updates in this call. I think it's uh, said quite clear there. Um, like, uh, yeah, so it's uh, basically it's uh, Clips Foundation is working on the doc. So we interviewed. Um, uh, interviewed uh, me and uh, Edwin and uh, John, uh, and currently the dog is uh, in in review stage. So that's it. Yeah. So I, I meant to bring this up in a in a prior marketing call, and it just totally dropped off. Um, but yeah, they went through an interview. I actually haven't looked at a draft yet. I, I need to go look at. Sorry, did they publish a draft? Uh, Not yet. Uh, is they emailed me? I don't know. Uh, probably you received the same. Yeah, I, I'll have to look. I, I tend to filter out things that tend to go to my Gmail address, and I, I, they've been communicating over my Gmail. So um, I'll have to uh, go go dig through that and see what they sent out. But yeah, I mean, drafts will be sent out. Um, but can, will can it we... be sent out? Sorry, John. Will it be sent out to the marketing to the working group forum for community review? Uh, everyone here understands that I am super against vacuum collaboration, especially when we have a normal, a formal announcement that we paid for in 2021. Is oh. it possible, those of you involved, that we add and contribute in a manner that is open so that this community can see the release? For example, it should say the microprofile working group release not the eclipse foundation release right like all the things that well we yeah i mean yeah, yeah. i mean the, the thing is they just just the format or or the approach right they just interviewed um i think there was four i think edwin was also reviewed uh sorry interviewed right so there was there was four of us it's not intended to be just published as you know um without any kind of community review so yeah it'll, it'll be put out and like i said i haven't i haven't seen it yet um it's 
it's going to be transparent. It's not going to be something that's just. Thank you be. so yeah. much. Really I mean, cute. just just uh, for my uh, awareness, we're not going to follow this approach for any future announcements, are we? We will not pay for future announcements. Uh, hold on, hopefully. I wasn't asking you. No, no I. Um, well, I mean, the approach was taken simply because we had to do, you know, we had budget that needed spending. To be rather frank. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, like, you know, normally we would do this kind of work on these calls openly together. Um, and it wouldn't be the kind of thing where someone would just go off list and start contacting people privately and saying, you're special, you get to be involved in the announcement, you're special, you get to be involved in the announcement, I get to decide who's special and who's not, and who gets featured and who doesn't. Yeah, and, that, that uh, was well, yeah, that was definitely not the intent in, in, in your in your yeah. in your comments are, are absolutely valid. But I think just to move the process along and to get that that money you know it was already allocated but but basically moved forward um that was the approach that was taken uh, i agree not not the best and it's not something that we want to do um uh, moving forward yeah um, cool as long as we understand that then it's you and, know, we'll just make the best of the situation yeah and and i want to say if emerson was not contacted emerson know that you matter and you are important because there were three stewards for that release and know that we pay attention. It's not only you, but also the coders under each API that we pay attention. So this is just one off. One off. And know Emerson that in all of all other use that are amazing and we're part of the progress, like Martin, for example, and yep. many others, know that we are trying to fix this to make sure that it doesn't happen again. All right? Well, we'll so just... That's, we'll that's just can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. I think that this is not uh, trying to promote uh, three interviewees. This is a kind of just uh, they get some uh, uh, like uh, content so that you can read uh, it up. I can't remember. I don't even uh, uh, remember whether they mentioned us. I think that this is a collective effort for the whole community. It's not like uh, just uh, who does the release. So all the specifications matters. The other thing is, I think, uh, because they want uh, like uh, us to review uh, first, I think is uh, at least we check whether they have write uh, something correctly or not. At least uh, that's the first um, kind of evaluation. After like uh, we agree, yeah, it's roughly about uh, on this on the red line, and then I think it's. Uh, after they have done the update and then share with the public, is uh, share with the group. I think that makes sense. But I think it's uh, right now the draft and share with the, before the first uh, kind of sanity check. Uh, maybe it's a uh, kind of red herring. Right, so, and you know we're we're four four minutes past the hour. So so um, message heard. You know a little bit of mea culpa, but that's just the process that was taken because of had to, again had to spend the money and, and get yeah. someone involved so um uh thanks everyone um for attending the call next week is the technical call which will be on and i'm glad we're all in the same time uh daylight savings time now so <laughs> makes things easier thanks. all right uh, thanks, thanks everyone one. and technical mm -hmm. call next week and live hangout in two weeks same bad time same bad channel bye everyone thanks everybody thanks, thanks. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye.